So we have a new problem with the Traxxas E Revo 116 scale specifically. I stripped the servo. Servo still works um, just fine. Um, might just buy a um, a new set of servo gears and they're not like terribly expensive they're like four bucks but now we'll just go ahead and investigate what's what's going on with that servo probably I could do a simple fix with it, or a temporary fix before I get a four dollar gear set for it all right I'm gonna take her apart off camera and I'll show you what's so up. in order to get that servo out I have to take these two screws over here and that will remove this little skid plate, I would call it. But it's also one of those servo protectors. Not servo saver, but it's a piece that will protect the servo, especially when it comes to hard landings. So I'll go ahead and take this off. Servo cover removed. Now it's time to get inside that by removing that bolt. You okay? The servo is removed from its um, steering column. I'm not going to go take the whole thing out because I can easily access it from here. So I'm just going to take these screws out and with the Phillips screwdriver and then I'll go from there. It's really hard to um, see here on camera while I'm, holding, while I'm holding my hand on the servo and holding the other hand on, the, on my camera. And I'm going to do my very best here so I can show it to you. really hard to see uh, let me dim it. right there let me try pointing it out on you guys that right there Ugh, it's really hard to see but if you guys can see it <laughs> if you guys can see it uh, right there sorry for shaking the camera but it's how stable as I can get that has a strip gear uh, strip teeth. Yep, right there. I know it's kind of blurry, but right there, you can see that. Like I said, it's kind of blurry, but there you go. That's the strip gear teeth. Now, I was told that only happens when I turn left on the, the servo. It turns right just fine. From what I was told, I show what the pro I told them what the problem is on an RC group on Facebook, and they told me if your gears, if the if one of the gears are not fully stripped, just replace. I mean not replace, just rotate that gear with the with the few broken teeth, uh, just at 180 degrees. They they told me and it will and it will fix the problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and see if that will make a difference. As you can see, that's that's what the strip gear is. And that took um, I believe four teeth out of that out of that gear. So I'm just they told so they told me if you're if want if the gears are not grabbing on this gear, um, they told me is just turn it, just turn it around uh, to a point that. It, it doesn't even touch the other gear and you should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and try and do that and see if that will work. Like I said, this is not a permanent fix. This is just a temporary fix before I just go ahead and spend $4 on the new gear set. Now, I would go ahead and get a Metal Gear, a metal gear um, set for the 2080 servo, uh, but unfortunately, I don't wanna spend like 20 bucks on it. I I'm kind of a, I'm an old, I'm kind of a cheapskate, okay? I like to, um, spend on RC parts for as little money as possible, and plus these uh, 2080 gear uh, gear servos um, are pretty decent. They uh, ever since I got this uh, RC back in October, it never had a, a servo problem. This is the first time I ever had a, a servo problem since my Traxxas Fortec 2.0, where I burnt out a servo. So. I, uh, it's better to strip gears on a servo than burn up your servo. As I said before, the servo gear is not completely stripped. So I, 
I just rotated this gear right here with the broken teeth and to the just to the other side where most of the gears are at. Oops. It's gonna be difficult for me to hold hold it. But we are we do have some success. That's full lock right. That's full lock left. Right. Left. Once again, full lock right. Full lock left. All right. I'm going to go ahead and cover it up. Uh, reattach the steering column. And we'll test it out. Call me OCD, but I got the servo um, cover back on. I just want to make sure if everything's still in order. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you guys are also wondering, uh, did I straighten up the servo, the steering, before I even hooked it back up? Uh, steering trim zeroed out. Car is on. Yes. I did. And still has that strip still has that strip gear in there. I didn't do any cheating involved. It works just fine. It didn't really strip a whole lot of gear teeth. So this will be this will still stay. Um, this fix will be in there for quite a while until it trips again all right it's time for a little test drive um like i said um that's a temporary fix but I think got stuck in there. Once again. Still has that strip servo gear in there. I just rotated it and and we got a success. Like I said, this is only temporarily. Uh, this is only used temporarily. I will I would I will be getting a new servo uh, servo gear set for it. But um, just because you have a a strip servo gear on your servo <laughs> Kind of sound redundant there, but if you have a strip servo gear in there, uh, don't automatically assume that it's already the end of those gear sets. Have a go at it and just assess the problem and try to fix it yourself. And and you don't have to go ahead and spend extra money on on buying a whole new set of gears on it. So at least you can save a, a couple of bucks in the long run before you go ahead and actually purchase the new set. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys again soon.